Hi friends. So today's coding challenge is we need to build a circular queue with the help of a linked list. So let's code it. But before coding, I would like to let you know that physically, if you have a linked list, your nodes are connected from one another like this. So it could be, you know, you can put n number of items. There is no limit. But what a circular queue does is there are like limited number, finite, whatever is the capacity or length. After that, whatever is the, if you put more than that, the first item gets replaced. So if you have a five limit, then if you add sixth item, the very first item would get replaced. That's like the logical way how a circular queue works. So let's code it. So we have the test cases ready and as you know we do test driven development so let's start implementing it so uh, since we need a circular queue actually we might need a queue uh, so we would uh, be having a string we would just say as cq a circular queue or just Q over here and we would have a new linked list that's it we don't have to give length here now now we would have a capacity like max item how much you want you can say max items in the queue and for this purpose let's say we have a queue of five elements which would be the max so let's get started so first method uh, we would write is is it full so whenever there are items which like the max items uh, actually this is the max item then you will also maintain a counter of uh, size whatever is the size so it would start with zero so if max item is equal to is equal to size which means it's filled and when would it get empty is uh, when the um, is empty when size is zero right so in q you would do uh, the operation like nq and dq so before doing that, let's see uh, the first element, so which is called as peak. So what we would do is we would say peak uh, front of the queue, which means the first element in the queue. You wanna look at that. So how would you do it? It's uh, simple. We would do the circular queue and then peak first. Peak first or you can also say get first this would give you what you need so we don't have to worry about the implementation same thing we would go with the peak last and why i'm doing this is because uh, when we test things we should have uh, you know our items ready so let's start testing thing and then uh, see how it goes so we don't have nq right now but we do have peak back what i said is peak last we could say as peak back we have peak front peak back so before doing this let's do nq so what do we mean by nq nq means when you wanna put the item in the queue so you would have the item i inside the queue so what would you do it so the item is uh, added uh, to the back and it's removed from the front. That's why Q is called as the first in first out and last in uh, last out. So um, item is added at the last whatever uh, item that would come last out. And stack its last out first in or first in last out. Anyways. So uh, to add, we would do q dot add last, and that's it. 
uh, you will pass the element it's simple but we have a problem here since it's a circular queue so if your queue is full is full which means that you uh, have to take the item out so you would say q dot do we have remove first first item would be removed fine and if you your queue is not fill uh, then uh, you're filling the item so you would increase the size so if your queue is filled for example you have max item five items so the uh, size would remain five but uh, the item would get replaced the uh, sixth item would replace the first item so the size would remain same but until unless size is not changed this would increment so i think this should be good if your queue is uh, full it would make a space if your queue is not full if else else then uh, it would increase the size and then it would add the last element so uh, let's try these tests okay so far so good so last element thing is the dq in dq you are supposed to remove the uh, uh, remove the item from the front please remember from the front so if your queue is empty there is no point of removing anything so you might need to return none because queue is empty if your queue is not empty then you would do queue remove first item and as soon as you remove the item you might do the count your size is supposed to be reduced so this is how and then uh, you also have to um, you know get the item out so how would you do that so for that uh, you might have to peek your last item like get your last item so how would it go if it is empty you are returning null and then for example if if it comes here then it's not empty we would say q peak last that would give you the item right and then what you can do is you don't need a else block here you would reduce the size and you would return the item and this is done so we are done so let's test uh, the scenarios so i have a lot of combination you can look into the code and then understand all these test cases so let's run it there might be some breakages so we'll fix it for example on line number 80 and it could be because of the size like the max capacity whatever we have given so let's try changing that mm, let's change it to three so probably it could be something else so let's fix these tests so the problem is instead of this peak for uh, last if it should be peak first and then everything works fine so we have just uh, implemented the circular queue uh, and thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe this video and share it with friends for more knowledge videos on technology thanks guys asim